The first sentence of Until I Find You um, is, according to his mother, uh, Jack Burns was an actor before he was an actor. It's a story about a boy who, because of how many things are missing in his life, um, invents the missing pieces. He's always making things up. A story about a boy who never knows his father and who, upon his mother's death, um, has reason to believe that things his mother told him about his father may not necessarily be true. It's also the story of Jack's mother and father. Uh, his mother is uh, an Edinburgh-born um, tattoo artist who settles in uh, Toronto. Um, and uh, her affair with Jack's father, a church organist who is addicted to being tattooed, um, is um, really the, um, the unrequited love story uh, on which the novel uh, is founded. Um, uh, Jack Burns won't find his father until he's in his 30s and his mother um, uh, is dead. It's also a novel ab uh, about how completely vulnerable the memory, so-called, of a child at a certain age is. The idea of a missing parent, the idea of um, orphans, um, whether it's um, uh, the world according to Garp or um, a prayer for Owen Meany or uh, the Cider House Rules, um, the subject of how much of our life is defined by what we missed in our childhood, by what uh, was absent in our childhood, um, is not just a theme that um, I've repeated in my novels. Uh, I think it's, um, uh, it's, a, it's a theme that um, certainly um, uh, Dickens um, uh, used as a driving force for many of, of his novels as well. Um, and that may have been, in addition to the language, uh, in addition to the narrative drive of the storytelling, that subject matter may, of course, uh, have attracted me to Dickens first as a child and as a teenager.